All right, guys, in this video, we'll see how we can benefit from the usage of modules within Angular application. We've prepared several cases. The first thing we would like to discuss is the structure of module. In the first case, we have one app module where we have one component and it's declared under the declarations just because afterwards we'll be able to use the component selector within uh, the app component. And uh, our component is dependent on Angular Material. That's why we're importing several uh, modules from Angular Material, such as Mat Input module, and we're specifying them under the import section here. This way, those modules will become available for our declared component. If we don't specify those material modules under the import section of our module, we'll have errors because our component will not be able to access them. In the second example, we have uh, two modules which interact with each other. App module is loading up app routing module. And in app routing module, we are loading our routes and then we are returning back the router module to be available for all the components and modules declared inside of app module. We do this with the help of exports. So first we are importing the router module, we use it inside of the app routing module, and then we're exporting it back to app module. In app module, we are loading up the app routing module, making it available to our declared components so every component that is using router module will be able to access it. So in summary, with the exports, we are setting up the outside accessibility scope to other modules that import the current module. While with imports, we are providing and setting access to all the components that are listed under the declaration within the same module. Now we'll take a look at the visibility of loaded up modules. In the first case, we have app module, which is loading up app routing module. And inside of app module, we're providing an import of reactive forms module. And since app routing module is located in the same directory where app module resides, it can access the declared reactive forms module previously in app module. Let's expand this case. And this time we have the same app module, the same app routing module, but this time the app routing module is loading up a feature module located in a different directory and it's loading up uh, in a lazy way, which means that whenever we are accessing certain component, it will load up the module and then the respective component. In this way, Angular saves a lot of bandwidth and it's not loading up initially the feature module in memory. In this case, we will see that we will not be able to use the reactive forms module within the feature module, even though it has been provided for us by importing it in the main app module. And that's because we can clearly see that we have two separate namespaces. One is for the app module, the other is for the feature module. And that's why we cannot access the parental specified uh, imports from within the feature module. To solve the dependency task, we'll need to import again the reactive forms module inside of the feature module. Next, we'll see two examples of uh, shared modules. Most of the time, we would like to use shared modules in Angular in order to declutter our project by placing commonly used components, directive pipes or modules inside of such a shared module. For example, if we are tired of importing reactive form module, we can uh, place them directly in one uh, shared module. And in order for this shared module to be accessible by other modules, uh, we'll need to export the reactive forms module. Then in two of our modules, app module and feature module, we just need to import the shared module and we'll be able to use in both of them the reactive forms module. Something interesting to notice is that we are not required uh, to specify inside of the shared module imports uh, nothing unless if we are not using the reactive forms module and providing them to the shared modules component. Here is another example on usage of shared modules. Let's say that uh, we have two modules that we would like 
to use inside of the same component. And this is not allowed because uh, basically we cannot declare the same component having the same declarations inside of uh, two modules and this will produce an error. The fastest way to solve this is just to create one shared module where we list our shared component inside of its declarations and import the component. Then we need to just import the shared module and place it under our imports inside of the app and feature modules. Here we don't need any more the declarations, so this will also eliminate the error when compiling the TypeScript uh, files. This way the shared module will help us by encapsulating or giving a namespace to the shared component and it will not cause uh, problems of being used in multiple modules. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video and if you find the content useful you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you.